You can't believe I'd do these deeds. What's it like being back on Broadway? It's wonderful. I mean, it's. I grew up doing musical theater. I was like five years old, and my parents would play show tunes in the car. I read that you were singing songs from Parade in the car when you were a kid. Definitely. We had a compilation. I remember not quite knowing the context for it, and I went to see it, and I was just really fascinated and haunted by the whole story and the realization that it was true. <laughs> Now, 20 years later, Ben Platt, the Broadway baby, is belting out those same tunes in the revival of Parade. It follows the story of Leo Frank, a Jewish factory manager who was falsely accused of killing a 13-year-old female worker and ultimately lynched by a white mob. I never touched that child, God. I never raised my head. What's it like to breathe life into Leo's story and put it on Broadway now? There's a lot of things that he stands for, but there's not a lot about him as a three-dimensional human being and honoring that person. People come in expecting a period piece, and it is, but as the show progresses and moves forward, it, it, it feels less and less that way and more and more contemporary. For those that have never seen it before, it doesn't even really feel like a revival. Art as social commentary has always been central to Ben Platt's craft. When you're falling in a it's been six years since his Broadway breakout in the musical smash, Dear Evan Hansen. When you're falling in a forest and there's nobody around, do you ever really crash? The show's core message? Acceptance, tackling tough issues like loneliness and suicide. My dream has always been to be part of this community. And it came true really young with Dear Evan Hansen, you know, when I was 22, 23, and... Tony Award-winning <laughs> performance. Pretty wild, still, to me. And so I, you know, I always hoped that I'd be able to return. I think my only fear after that experience was, like, how do I come back and not disappoint? And he hasn't. Parade picking up six Tony nominations, including Best Actor, raising Jewish visibility. Something Platt doubled down on with a fashionable Star of David at the Met Gala. I mean, I think this whole experience of doing Parade has really helped me to embrace my specific Jewish identity. I just have been feeling very prideful because of everything we've been through with the show. But he's also full of pride, leaning into his LGBTQ identity. As a songwriter singing about the love of his life, fiance Noah Galvin in songs like Imagine. What's it like to stand at this intersection of these two communities that are under assault in some ways? I think it's kind of a rare intersection in the sense that there isn't a lot of specifically queer Jewish representation. For me, it's just about trying to be as completely forthright about the truths of my identity as I can and then just make art with those as the backdrop. Oh, His character, Leo Frank's story, sheds light on the history of anti-Semitism, which is timely, given that attacks against the Jewish community are increasing. You want to learn about the truth about that you're going to see tonight? You're paying 300 bucks to go worship a now You might as well know what you're talking about. On opening night of previews in February, hate would be right outside the theater doors. A far-right neo-Nazi group protesting, handing out flyers with hateful rhetoric. And to have that happen on the first night, it just kind of snapped us all back to reality. What reflections have you had about what that protest means? There has been many different moments in which the universe has let me know that this is the right place and the right time and the right piece and the right story for me to be telling in this moment. Like, this is very urgent and this needs to happen now. The Leo Frank trial was a wrenching moment for the country. Jonathan Greenblatt is CEO of the Anti-Defamation League, an organization fighting anti-Semitism and hate, which was founded in the wake of Leo Frank's conviction. Leo Frank was subjected to ugly, just repellent anti-Semitism. Here was a man who clearly had been wronged, who was being rushed through the system. He didn't have due process. And it generated a media frenzy. The modern ADL still tracks anti-Semitic attacks across the U.S., recording some 3,697 incidents in 2022 alone, the highest number on record since the ADL began tracking more than four decades ago. 
Frank was sentenced to death in what was seen as a sham trial. But after national backlash, the Georgia governor eventually commuted his sentence to life in prison. An anti-Semitic mob filled with very well-known politicians and members of the press and all sorts of, of men sprung him from his cell and uh, lynched him. But Leo Frank's case also led to a resurgence of the Ku Klux Klan at a time when countless lynchings were mostly targeting African Americans. In the year that Leo Frank was lynched, I think there's something like 200 members of the black community who are lynched in this country. Although Frank was pardoned posthumously, all these years later, there's still work to be done. Seeing the Gentile community also really show up and also really right. be ready to like receive it. As for what's yeah, next for Ben Platt, the artist, the he says, It'll be rooted in the here and now. I am going to work on a new album and hopefully get to tour that. Anytime I spend time in a character like Leo Frank, it, it makes me hungry to spend some time as myself, expressing my own perspective. You are quite literally living the dream. <laughs> Knock wood. <laughs> Our thanks to Juju. And if you or someone you know is struggling with thoughts of suicide, call or text the National Lifeline at 988. You are not alone. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.